What's up my peeps? I am reasonably British. This is a brief gander at the DigitNow USB 2.0 Video Capture Card Device Converter, also known as the BR117 Video Capture Card, also known as uh, Video Capture DVD Maker. I don't think this makes DVDs. Uh, well, at least this one is Mac compatible. And social networks? Just social networks? Okay. I really have to stop reading the comments. Well, an adoring fan mentioned this device and it was ridiculously cheap, so I figured what the hell and another DVD. God damn it, China. Luckily, the instructions just tell you to download OBS. You mean this works without drivers on a Mac? Ooh, plus 10 points for video capture. Alas, downhill we go. Yes, no drivers were required. However, these were the available resolutions. And unless you're capturing WVHS and you're not, I don't think the top three apply. The highest resolution that's actually in an aspect ratio of ye olden days is 640 by 480, which means if you choose any of the top three, the image you're getting is upscaled. And I would much rather have a resolution of 720 by 480 or 486, or how about 525 for my VHS decode peeps out there? Can I get an amen? No? Well, fuck you too! I'm totally kidding. VHS Decode is awesome and you are doing the noblest of work. I've just always wanted to use that clip. Well, let's see what happens when you select 1080. Really? Well, we'll just do a little squeeze and much better. Now let's compare that with the original video. Oh wow, that is probably the most cropped I've seen so far. And now compared to the StarTech Dingleberry. Okay, okay. I think the crop alone disqualified this thing for me. Also. The fact that we're either using an inferior resolution or we are upscaling. All of this makes me sad. At this point, I don't care how sharp this thing is. I prefer my capture cards don't do any upscaling, but if they must, it should be integer scaling. Okay, I need to find out what makes this thing tick to the dissection chamber. Okay, first we must euthanize the specimen, and then we apply the Toffelmeyer matrix and tap and tap very carefully. Oh, fuck! Oh, okay, it's all right, it's all good. Now I carefully remove the breastplate and, ooh, it's all green. And which chip is macrosilicon MS2107? I've never even heard of. Most of the video decoder chips I've seen are made by analog devices and the rest are made by TI. Let's look at the website. Where's the data sheet? Where's the data sheet? God damn you, China. Hmm, okay, I'm bored now. Um, okay. I don't want to say this thing is crap, but... Wait, yes I do, this thing is crap. It may be reasonably sharp when using 1080, but there's just too many drawbacks. I couldn't even get to the point of directly comparing it to the StarTech or the GV USB without getting annoyed by all of its flaws. This was, however, very fun. The good folks at um, uh, China certainly made some interesting choices whilst designing this thing. Okay, I'll catch you later.